हे फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अक्षय एंड वेलकम टू टेक्नोलॉजिक टुडे वी विल कवर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिबेटेड टॉपिक ऑफ द स्पार्क दैट इज द कंपेरिजन बिटवीन आर डी डी डेटा फ्रेम एंड डेटा सेट व्हाट आर द मेरिट्स एंड द पिटफॉल्स सो होपफुली एट द एंड ऑफ द टूडे सेशन वी कैन हैव ए बेटर आइडिया ऑफ दिस थ्री लेट स्टार्ट एंड प्लीज वॉच टिल द एंड प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड लेट एस नो योर फीडबैक through likes and comments and that is really important to us so let's first discuss about the various abstraction layers and the api used in the spark rddis are the most fundamental and the low level api in the spark apis and being a low level api the most of the control and the optimization technique depends on the developer so developer no need to know how to do it spark don't help in that and as it is type safe it can be used in any type safe language like python and r secondly we can read the data sources in rddis but again the schema need to be defined by the developer only so this could become a problem situation and we might often run into unoptimized code and erroneous schema definition on the data we read in the structured api segment we deal with three approaches data frame data set and the sql tables and views and there using the catalyst optimizer the transformation sequence is optimized by the spark only and finally create the rddis to execute them in cluster so in case of data set and data frame or the sql table or views there is an abstraction layer created over rddis where the developer need to decide what to do and spark will take care of how to do the part between data frame and the sql there is no performance benefit as tables and views are the same thing as data frame we just execute sql against them instead of the data frame code secondly in case of data frame data set schema is read from the data source upon read if we say the difference between the data frame and the data set the first thing come to my mind is data set is not type safe because of this it cannot be used in python or r whereas the data frame is type safe and good to use there is also a significant improvement in the memory consumption over uh, observed in the data set with respect to rddis as spark don't rely on the jvm types which can cause high garbage collection and the ob object instantiation cost now let's discuss about the structured api execution when you write a data frame or data set or the sql spark first convert it into a unresolved logical plan where the set of expressions are converted to most optimized version it is called the unresolved because the code could be valid but the source tables or views or the columns it refer may not exist then spark use a catalog because that is the repository of all tables and the data frame information to create a result logical plan then optimizer create the optimized logical plan like if you have written filter after join then it optimize it to first filter the data then it generate different execution strategies and compare them using a cost model and produce the best physical plan physical plan then create a series of rddis and transformation which are executed in the cluster let's check an execution plan in the data bricks okay so first thing i will create a data frame uh, using the spark.read.txt and uh, i will use the sample readme.md file and just run it and i have created the text file df so if i see the data so i can have the lines like this so 
let's take this line and let's filter the data so i have just first sorted according to the column and then i just filter out this line only so this is a uh, not a good method right so i as a developer i can often do this kind of mistake so let's check the explain plan of this and let's compare with the same kind of operation but this time the filter first so if you just see both the uh, execution plan i can see in both of the cases just notice this part the filter operation is put to the file scan operation so in both the cases wherever way you have written the filter is pulled at the file scan time so this is the optimization we are talking about what is done at the in the case of data frame as we are using the python code we cannot use the data set thank you so much for watching this video if you love this video please like and comment on it and please share with your friends don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon